Well, good morning, everybody. I just wanted to do quick first ever unboxing at Aaron's Train. You know, it's uh, another morning. I'm inside uh, my camp trailer because I end up uh, needing to work from home every day. So when you have a two-year-old and three-year-old, that becomes hard to get work done. So I brought the unboxing out here to work with me this morning. Just wanted to show you what I picked up on the local classified ads last night. Um, if you've watched any of the other videos, you know I've probably a good 75%, including all the rolling stock, all the locomotives, all of that stuff has been uh, purchased on the local classified. So here's what I found last night. At the end, I'll tell you what's really, what I thought was cool about it. Again, some of this stuff has got the old horn hook. But my three-year-old who loves trains said he doesn't care. He crashes them anyway. You know, another caboose. Okay, I got about 100. Burlington Northern rolling stock. You know, they're in really good shape. A couple of the horn hooks are disconnected. My wife loves tanker cars, so there's the Texaco to add to her collection. Union Pacific car. Got a few more of these exact same cars. They're, you know, just another car that we can run on kids and wife's track. Got another locomotive. You know, these things, looks like the couplers have been broke off again they're old but uh, my kids don't care and you know I have fun with them even though they're horn hooks I will say horn hooks don't have a lot of disrail or derails or uncouplings if your track work isn't a hundred percent where I know my newer newer couplers if your track work wasn't real good sometimes I found them disconnected one thing I'm kind of happy and I think will be fun is this uh, this Athern SD42. Let's see if she'll focus. We'll open that up in a second. What I was really excited about when I saw this, I've got 10 pieces. Brand new Code 100 Flex Track. I like that. The other thing I'm excited about, brand new package. 24. One, two, three, four. 24, 25 piece of brand new package of cork road bed. Those items alone, if your local hobby shop, you know, flex track for 36 inches is about five bucks a piece. Man, there's 50 bucks right there. About 250 a piece on the on the flex track. There's about another 15 bucks. Pretty good deals right there. Um, let's look at look over here pull the lid off this Athern SD 40-2 yeah never been assembled all the parts still in the little package there's all the handrails but you know what? It's never been run. It's, it's interesting to look at locomotives that are a little bit older that, uh, you know, I don't have the figures inside of them. We don't have any of that cool stuff we've got now. Obviously, DC, which my layout is, but, you know, this never run locomotive. We'll, we'll take it apart and look inside and see how the grease is and how everything is. But... This may be one that uh, that I end up going ahead and converting to DCC when I convert my system. Um, I think it's kind of cool. You know, there's your there's the entire parts list. Got the old horn hook coupler. 
and coupler box. This one will probably get converted. I'll put a, a newer coupler on it. But uh, yeah, kind of fun. Can build the whole, the entire model on this one and we could weather it up, we'll weather it up and we'll have some fun with it. But kind of wanted to show you all that stuff I picked up last night. The coolest part I think about this is I got everything for 25 bucks. You know, like I said, there's $50 just in flex track. So with all the track work and everything, probably had $65, $70 worth of stuff. Plus I didn't have to drive to the uh, local hobby store, which I do quite often. So, well, everybody have a good day while you're all out. Be safe uh, during this time frame and we'll have another update some, some days. I did practice and play with some of my new rock slide gravel that I've built in boulders. So I'll update that in the next couple days. Thanks. Have a great day, everybody. Be safe.